everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this super super cute little butterfly kind of style bow. It's very very similar to sort of a uh, tux bow, it's just a slightly different variation of how you sort of put the layers together. So I'm going to show you how to make that, it's actually quite simple. This one is in 1.5 inch ribbon and you'll need two pieces, one eight inches, and one seven inches and then obviously a nine mil for the mid for the center got my scissors to cut lighter to heat seal extra strength uh, thread needle clip to attach it to some pins to hold everything in place and my lighter and i'm also just going to get a couple of holding clips for when we get everything together and as you can see, I have heat sealed my ends. I also have folded both pieces in half like so. And I have creased the middles. This is just to give you a nice guide for when we're lining them up. And what I do is I make a little circle and do a tiny overlap, so about half a centimetre, quarter of a centimetre, not a lot, just enough that you can stitch without, you've got enough to stitch but not enough to sort of shorten the length too much if that makes sense. So you do it like that. Now normally I would pin it through so it attaches to the other side but in this case we need the loop to stay open so we can put them together and stitch in a, in a second. So that's pinned like that so it's in a loop at the moment. We're going to do exactly the same to this one. Like I said, quarter of a centimetre Pin it like so, so you've got your circle like this, okay? Now line that back up with that centre. I'm just going to pin that one there. And we're going to do exactly the same there. I'm going to centre that. And we're going to do the opposite side. So we've got this. So we've got the bigger loop and the littler loop. And we've got our nice firm crease marks on both sides so we can see and what I do is open the big one line up your creases okay I'm gonna get a roller so you can see and we want these so that it's two centimetres, or two inches, okay, not quite, just a little bit more, there we go, so two and a half, so that's one inch, so basically, we've done it so that you've got an inch of this bottom layer showing, okay? And I'm just going to take the whole pin, put that there, use that one there, okay? Make sure your stitching layers are even and lined up because that will affect the shape as well. Okay, so we've got all that. Move these out of the way. Excuse me a second while I just run the needle. Thank you. 
there we go so this is your back this is the front and we're going to use the crease as a guide for a stitching so you want to go from above one two and you want your third one to go over okay three four six let me take that that needle out okay oh let's redo that because as you can see I've not stitched through that layer that wouldn't be very clever so from above one like I said make sure you're catching all of them two third over let's check Yep. Four, five, and six. And like I said, we've caught all of those. Let's pull that through and I'll show you. So this is the back. One, two, three. And the front in, one, two, out. Okay. I'm going to hold it from my fingers like so and pull around and wrap and wrap and stitch off the back however you like to. Like I said, now you can keep it as a very simple, like I said, butterfly type shape. If you wanted to, you could obviously add antennae, etc. Whatever works for you. But I'm just going to keep mine nice and simple and just add the clip today. So, touch your glue. Remove my glue strings. No one wants to see that. Let's get our nine mil for the centre. Right on the middle and wrap round as normal at least twice. Once. Keep it nice and tight. Make sure you can't see that layer from beneath. Cut that excess off. Keep the other end. Just go like so. There you go, there is a super cute purple version to go with our blue silver edged. Like I said, they will make super super cute pigtail sets, um, they're not very big. They are about three and a bit, yeah three and a half wide. So like I said, they'll be great, like I said, sitting above little pigtails like that you could do bubbles instead of clips whichever you sort of prefer and um, I can put the sizes for three inches two inches and one inches because I think the converted sizes are not going to be that very that difficult to sort of work out and like I said you could play around you could do an even smaller version you could do eight inches to six inches and have a really small and if you did the layer a little bit further down so instead of one inch you could do sort of one and a little bit and you get more of a 
so like I said you can literally play around and do whatever you want thank you for watching hope you enjoyed learning how to make the little like butterfly type there and like I said don't forget to come and join me over at Catherine's um, Riven Tutorials and follow along over at Facebook and show me what you've been making I absolutely love seeing you and thanks for watching bye